Hi Lily, hi Onelia. I'm here to talk with you about our narrative writing. So I asked you on Monday to think about some ideas that you have for writing your small moment stories. So I hope you have a nice list that you can look at as we move through this unit to give you ideas for what you can write about that day. Um, Miss Lumsden is going to talk to you about the next thing we do when we write a story. So remember our chart, we said how to write a story. Number one was think back and find an idea. So that's what you did. You found all those ideas. So today we're going to talk about the next step. And the next step is planning. So we're not actually writing yet. We're still planning. So we have the idea, and then we're going to plan. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that. I first would like to write this on our chart. So number two, plan. So we're going to plan. I'm going to show you exactly how we plan. So I'm holding one of our blank writing booklet pages. And I'm going to touch the page, tell out loud what I would write, then I will sketch the pictures, and then I would write. So what I would do is I touch and tell, and then sketch, and then write. And that's how we plan. So before I model that for you, I'm actually going to add it to our, our, to our um, anchor chart here. So plan. We touch, tell, sketch, and write. So what we'll do is we have our paper and we touch the first page. So you'll be thinking, what happens first in my story? And Miss Lumsden's going to use an example from her life, a true, real story. And I'm going to talk to you about what I did this weekend. So I'm going to touch the first page and say, this weekend I went to Scrumpy's Apple Orchard. They were having a 5K run. I was not a runner at the 5K, I was a volunteer. My job was to cheer for the runners as they finished and hand them their cider. After all the runners came through, I got to shop at the store and then I went home. That's my story. So that's how we plan. You touch the page and you say out loud what would go on that page. And you could see Miss Lumsden touch the front page and told you about the beginning. I told you what I did while I was there at the Apple Orchard, and then I told you what happened last when I went shopping and bought some cider and donuts, and then I went home. So that's what happened first, middle, and last in my story. The next thing I would do is sketch. So I take my pencil and I do quick sketches in these boxes. So when we're working on writing, we're not working on the most beautiful pictures we've ever seen. We call them sketches because they're only with a pencil. We're not coloring and they're quick. So they don't have to be full of detail quite yet. There will be moments and days where I do say, please add detail and color to your pictures, but we don't color every day during writing time. Those times will come um, only once in a while where we color. So then we would sketch. So I would write, I would do my first sketch. I'm just gonna draw, I'm not the best drawer, but I'm gonna draw my, an apple that says scrumpies, cause that's where I went, kinda like a big sign. So you can see my sign that says scrumpies. And then I'm just gonna draw some people. I'm gonna draw me, I'm gonna label it me. And then I'm gonna write Megan, I was with my friend Megan. And I was with my friend Carrie. And so I drew the, me, us three there at Scrumpy's. All right, so that's reminding me on the first page, I'm saying how I went to Scrumpy's this weekend with my friends. And then the second sketch will remind me of what I'm putting on the second page. So I, the second page, I talked about how I was a volunteer helping all the runners. So I'm gonna draw some runners. Remember, they're quick sketches. Look at my quick little people. They're not full of details with eyes or hair quite yet. They're just quick sketches to remind my brain what I'm going to write when I get to this page. Then I'm going to draw the counter, and I'm going to draw me and my friends standing behind the counter and serving the cider. I drew some ciders on the page. So there's my friends and I behind the counter with the cider, and here's the runners coming up. And lastly, my last sketch I wrote is how I went into the store. So I'm just going to draw some donuts 
at the store and some cider. And there was popcorn. So there's just a little bit of the store. Some donuts, some cider, and some popcorn. So those were quick sketches so that I'm ready now to write. So we're not going that far. Today was just planning. So what I did is I touched and told my story out loud on each page. Then I went through and I made my sketches to remind me what I'm gonna write on each page. So that's your job today. You're gonna do exactly what Miss Lumsden just modeled for you. You need to get a, a booklet and you need to touch the page and tell the story. So get one of those ideas off your list. Touch the first page and say out loud what happened. Touch the second page, what you would write on that page. And touch the third page for what happened last and what you would do on that page. Then you will just add the sketches to the pages. That's your only job today. And then on Friday, we will finish the last step, number three, okay? All right, happy writing, happy planning. This is a crucial part for our writing to become one big story. So we're working on planning. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon.